Hey guys, in this video I'd like to talk about the different Windows 8 login options. By default, you're just entering your um, Windows Live account password. Uh, in previous versions of Windows, you could obviously, um, you know, just make an account password. Though with Windows 8, I believe it has to be connected to a Windows Live account. So if you click um, change your password, it will take a little while um, for the form to load uh, because the password change will affect your Windows Live Hotmail account as well. So that's um, one of my email addresses. I don't really use it. Though I'd have to type in my old password and you know confirm my new password. And not only would it be my password in um, Windows 8, it would also be my new um, Hotmail password. Uh, we have two new options um, for Windows. We have the option to create a picture password. It's asking for my um, current password. Uh, so, welcome to Picture Password. Picture Password is a new way to help you protect your touch screen PC. You choose the picture and the gestures you use with it to create a password that's uniquely yours. When you've chosen a picture, you draw directly on the touch screen to create a combination of taps. Straight lines or circles. The size, the size, position and direction of your gestures become part of your picture password. Uh, the picture password is good if you have a touch screen computer or tablet. Though as you will see it is um, also possible um, you know, if you are just on a PC or laptop. Uh, so there are three things that you can do. I'm going to use this picture. You can just um, click somewhere. You can draw a line, or you can do circles, I believe. Though, I'm not, you know, I personally think that's a bit too difficult to do on a desktop PC. Um, you know, it's good for tablets, and it's okay for touch um, screen computers. Um, in this instance, I'm just going to do clicks. You know, this is a good picture with a bunch of um, different squares, the good old Windows 95 logo. So now I'm going to click OK and I now have a picture password. So I'm going to lock my workstation and I now have this picture password. I do have the option to switch to password or um, back to picture password. And now I'm just going to, you know, uh, be a bit clumsy. And yep, that worked. So you don't have to be extremely accurate. Uh, you also have the option to create a pin. Once again, I need to enter in my password before I can create a PIN. You obviously can't use letters, you can only use numbers. And you can only use um, four numbers. Um, now I'm typing in a really simple PIN, 1234. 1234, finish. It didn't even come up with a warning telling me I had a weak PIN, which it probably should. And uh, now I'm going to lock the computer in 1234 didn't even have to click enter and I have logged back in. Um, I'm not a big fan of the pin logon option at the moment. A, it should warn you um, if you don't have a strong pass, um, you know, passcode. And B, I would like it a lot more if I had a bit of a pin pad, you know, from zero to nine and you just actually clicked on them. And you know, they could also keep the box there as well. Though I would prefer it if they had a bit of a pin pad there, it would look a bit better. Um, so yeah, that's um, pretty much it for the, um, you know, um, the password options. Uh, and, you know, you can obviously add a new user. And if you add a new user, you need to, um, you know, assign a Windows Live ID to the new, to the new user. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you the two new um, password options included in Windows 8. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me or tell me your um, opinions on this system and how it works to log on. Thanks for watching.